How are we going that way? All right, next up, please welcome Valor Water Analytics, uh, presenting our Christine E. Boyle, PhD, and Renee Jutras. <laughs> there is nothing like a glass of fresh San Francisco tap water. Hello, my name is Christine Boyle. I have a PhD in water finance, and I'm the founder of Valor Water Analytics. To my left is Renee Jucha, our lead data scientist. Valor Water Analytics provides a suite of business intelligence tools for water utilities to address the financial issues of problems such as conservation, revenue risk, and affordability in ways never before possible. And why is this important? Well, urban water systems today are in crisis. Infrastructure is falling apart, and utilities must spend billions of dollars to fix it, dollars they often don't have. And California, like many places, is facing an epic drought. Now, to avoid running out of water, utilities must get their customers to use less water. But when utilities sell less, they make less money. Utilities often pull the same lever in order to um, address this problem. They raise rates. Customer anger over, in a utility we work with in North Carolina, customer anger over rate hikes was all too common. But utilities aren't the bad guys. They simply don't know their full range of solutions. Some utilities, to, or to develop their financial plans, utilities rely on outmoded systems. Um, and sometimes, they'll bring in a consultant every five years in order to analyze their revenue. With one utility we work with, they use Excel spreadsheets to analyze over one million billing records annually. But utilities have a valuable asset at their fingertips, their data. Valor Water Analytics is a subscription-based software-as-a-service product that puts data into the hands of the water utilities and allows them to solve financial problems, such as the revenue impacts of conservation. We provide an interactive portal so water utility managers can dig deep into their data in, in, in order to monitor their revenue, plan for the future, and track the changing patterns of water use and their revenue impacts. We are excited to announce today that we are launching our Drought and Conservation Monitoring Toolkit. Let's see it in action. Switch to the demo, please. As a utility CFO logs in, he or she will be able to choose from a range of different tools. She chooses now our Drought and Conservation Toolkit. Let's take a walk in her shoes. She is now viewing over 3 million billing records in one dashboard. She notices first that residential customers are the majority water user, so she clicks closer to look at residential. She sees then that the peaks and valleys that were so evident in early years have gotten smaller during the drought period, which is in the yellow, the yellow shaded area. She notices then that actually residential water use during the drought has declined by 6%. Now 6% might not seem like a lot, but 6% re represents a dramatic decline in use. She then wants to know, so how much is this 6% water loss costing my utility? This tool allows a utility manager to understand and measure the revenue impacts of conservation. She first wants to see how different customer water groups are changing and the associated revenue impacts. She is surprised to see here that only a dramatic behavior change by only 2% of the customers is resulting in a dr drastic revenue reduction nearly $2.2 million. She then wants to plan for the utility's future. She goes then to the water, Valor Water Simulation Tool. She clicks in on residential. 
here, the CFO is thinking, it is trying to plan the future because in order to be in compliance with California's current emergency drought plan, which calls for a 20% decrease in water. So she models decrease use by 20%. She sees now that, fantastic, our water utility is going to save 800 million gallons, but this comes at the price tag of almost $2.7 million revenue loss. She then is, can create a drought reserve fund in order to help the utility stabilize its revenue during this period. It's these types of financial practices that are actually quite essential so the utility is able to stabilize its revenue, create predictable prices, and also be able to get a AAA bond rating and finance that essential if it's infrastructure. Switch back to slides, please. Okay, let's move. So this is one tool we have. We actually have four business intelligence products and over 25 proprietary analytics. We're pleased to announce today, oh, we're also utility tested and have worked with 15 utilities in North Carolina uh, over the last few years, piloting this technology. We're pleased to announce today that we're on the ground in California and have inked a deal with Sonoma County Water Agency. We also are excited to announce our partnership with Esri. Esri is in the hands of over 10,000 water utilities and will allow us to expand our, our analytics and also sell directly to more over 10,000 utilities nationwide. We add an inflection point here, everybody. Water utilities simply cannot operate in a business as usual. The climate and infrastructure challenges are just too great. We put analytics in the hands of water utilities to allow them to make smarter decisions. So please go to ValorWater.com to get involved. Thank you. All right. So what is your background? My background is um, I have a doctorate in water finance um, in the 90s, in the first. And then before that, um, I, in the late 90s, I worked in um, that other bubble, <laughs> the, the bubble that went down and was an operations manager for a um, e-commerce firm in New York. And then later on, I went to grad school. Thank you. Yeah. And the, how long is the sales cycle for a customer? Well, we, for our first sale, we, we went to market in June. Um, and our first sale came pretty quick. Now we have, like, at least right now, 10 to 15 other utilities in our pipeline, I don't know how long it's gonna take to close them. I mean, we know it's a government, and so we know that that takes a while. Um, but, you know, it's hard for us to say at this point because we're in active sales cycles, and it looks like, I'm gonna say like six months as a kind of a guesstimate. Yeah. So first of all, I commend you guys on trying to solve a big, important problem. It's, yeah. Especially living out here, it's a mess right now. Yeah. Uh, two questions for you. I guess number one is a little bit more on market size. How many okay. just water utilities are there, and how much do you think you can charge them for the software? Okay. And then I'll wait just, a sec. And then the second one, I'll just I'll throw it out there, okay. and you guys can just go on both. Okay. Is the problem when you're selling into a lot of these kind of old economy type businesses is getting all their data into your form and in your system. So how do you how are you going to extract this from Excel and get it into your software so that you can make sense of it? Okay. That was my um, so the U.S. has over 50,000 water utilities, but only the top, say like 10 or 15% serve 80% of people. Um, so we're, you know, we're going after middle and large size water utilities. Uh, we charge them based on number of users, so like the size of the city, which is the size of the data. Uh, so we just have a matrix that just sort of determines that size. It, it starts at roughly 40K and goes up from there. Um, and extracting the data, you know, we work so far, with the utilities we piloted with, we work closely with their IT department and extract data actually directly out of their billing system. Um, and we just walk hand in hand. Our, my philosophy there is utilities comes in all shapes and sizes. We walk down the road wherever they are and meet them wherever the quality of their data is, and we do the rest. Um, and that so far has worked. You know, to scale, we have some other choices to make, working with a third party to really dig deep into those Perfect. systems. but. Um, we've, we've been able to work it out, yeah. Is, what is the main reason for the utility companies to not work with you? Why would they not work with us? Uh, some, you know, the, the thing we have to keep, 
pressing right now is that things are changing and often it's literally like, why do we need to change? We've been doing this for 50 years. It's a, quite a, you know, an older workforce. Um, and they say, hey, I've been doing this for the last 20 years. What's going on? Why do we need to change? Well, for those that are, you know, kind of coming up in it, things are changing and we need to push and everyone's pushing to get them to um, kind of adopt new solutions because yesterday's solutions aren't working today. So do, do you have to spare ahead a movement or how, how do you elevate the, the, the debate or? Well, right now what we're doing is, you know, I'm, I'm very involved with the industry associations. I'm the, um, I'm the chair of the industry financial management committee. So I'm very kind of <laughs> in the weeds with everyone and, um, what we're doing is, you know, we're kind of working with the coalition of the willing first, the progressives, the people I know that are, the utilities that are innovating and progressive and love technology. We start with them first, and then we fight the harder battles down the line once we have that reputation um, established. What would your best customers say about what you guys have provided to uh, them using your software? Um, they say a lot of things. They say, they, some of them say like, why hasn't this been done before? But, but what benefit have they extracted? If they looked at their using their yeah. use of your platform, what's the? Is it saving money? Is okay. it? Okay, we have a couple of different things. We we first of all have like actual kind of like hidden revenue. So we say, hey, there's some revenue here. There's revenue here. So we have hidden revenue. We also are able to locate cost inefficiencies and be like, hey, there's a cost inefficiency here because of this segment. Um, so that's another money saver. Often utilities are often quite concerned with um, kind of affordability and community issues. So that communication piece is also really important and they really leverage that a lot in order to communicate with their customers and provide affordability programs and things like that. So. How, do you, how do you avoid having to, I'm concerned that you're gonna go in there and work very closely with all these utility companies, yeah. make the data clean and easy to adapt and then somebody who can build better tools than you comes along and takes that really nice data and does stuff with it. How do you avoid that? Well, utility doesn't get our beautiful clean data. <laughs> we keep it. That's our, I mean, we don't own that data, but once we extract it, it goes into our SQL database and we run it through our stack. They don't, they don't, they don't have it. So. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Great. So we're out of time. You guys did a great job. This was Valor Water Analy Analytics. Thank you guys very much.